Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be sharing all of my luxury small leather goods or SLGs with y'all. So this was a requested video during Vlogtober, but I've been wanting to do this video anyway, so I'm really excited to share everything with you guys. So all of my SLGs are from Louis Vuitton and then I have one SLG from Chanel and um, I'm going to share from the order of purchase and then just do um, mini reviews on each, why I bought them, um, how they're holding up, etc. We are going to start with my first SLG, which was the Louis Vuitton Pasha accessory. I feel like this was, at the time, the perfect gateway into Louis Vuitton because it doubled as a bag. So it comes with a strap, so you have a small shoulder bag and it's perfect for on the go. I love taking this with for traveling because I can carry all of my SLGs in here and that's what I currently use it for. And then I can also use it as a bag when I'm out and so it's very multi-purpose and it saves room when you're packing because you have a bag that you can take with if you need a small bag. You can also add a chain and make it a crossbody or another strap. Um, I like to add a chain on here and make it a crossbody when I go shopping. When I purchased this, I want to say it was either, it was less than 500 and I can't remember if it was 390 or 490 And I always recommended this when people asked because of how amazing it is because it's so functional. You can use it so many different ways. And I thought it was just a great starting piece. After the price increase this month of October 2021, it is now retailing for $1,050. I personally believe it's just because of how popular the multi pochette accessory is, which is the bag you've seen all over Instagram with um, this bag, a smaller one, and then you get like a keychain one. Um, to me, it looks like you're going to designer boot camp. I'm not a fan of this style personally, but it's very popular and so. Um, I think people are just trying to create it and so they just increase the price drastically. Um, but it is currently going for double of what I paid for it. And I just personally would not replace it if I lost it, but I do love it and glad it's in my collection and that this was the base of my collection. So that was my first SLG. And then after that, I got my first agenda from Louis Vuitton. So. I have always wanted a Louis Vuitton agenda. I always thought it was the ultimate like planner goal and I really wanted the GM for like work and personal and at the time it was just so hard to get. It's still really hard to get. Um, all of the agendas are pretty hard to get I think except for the pocket which is the PM but I did love this size and I was really excited when I got this one because it was just different. It was smaller. I was used to using a bigger planner and it was also my introduction to planner rings and I loved it. This has been my oversized wallet. This has been my on the go planner. This has been my um, daily planner right now. It's currently my daily planner and my um, home planner and I absolutely love it. Um, it is a personal size insert and it's I think a good introduction if you're new to planning or if you're trying to decide between which agenda to get. But that was my first agenda. And then after that, I purchased the key pouch. And this is again, another item that was just always on my wish list um, that I would ask for for Christmas. And I liked it because I could use it as an actual keychain. So let me grab my key fob. I no longer use this for keys or as a keychain. I use it as a card holder. Um, but it was great and as you can see I use this for a while and like the hardware held up so well it's not even scratched and I loved it because it was the perfect like way to find my keys in my bag and then I could also easily just run out and grab whatever I need because I could keep my cash and cards and my ID in here so it was perfect it also fit in any clutch um, and it was just a great piece. Um, ultimately, this was designed so that you could put your key inside of here and cover it up so it doesn't scratch anything inside of your bag. So this was the intended purpose. And um, I never use it this way, but some people do. 
Um, I use it as a keychain slash wallet and now I just use it as a card holder and I, I love using it as a card holder because it's great to um, hold on to all of my like store cards, gift cards, and things that I don't need regularly and I love it. And so I actually like to keep mine attached to the Posh Hat accessory. So this is always in my purse holding all of my SLGs and I'll show y'all how that looks. But I like to keep it just attached to the D-ring over here and then that way I can easily grab it and it's not just floating around in my purse and then I just like having it attached here so that I know it's for sure in here and that I don't leave it somewhere. Um, since there is a lot of like credit cards in there, um, you can put it in the little pocket in here and then have other items in here if you'd like. And then after that, I purchased the six ring key holder. So I didn't like having the keys just hanging off of the um, key pouch and it was just something that, I don't know, I wasn't a fan of and I noticed this and um, I really love having this in my collection. I really think this is worth it. If you were deciding between the key pouch and the six ring key holder and you want to do just one, I would recommend the six ring key holder because you can hold some cards, not all cards in here. Um, but I just think it's more functional and it's a lot like it's more organized too. So, um, I don't carry that many keys. We have a code on our door. Um, I have an access card for work that I keep in here. Um, and that way, don't forget it. I have an air tag in here just so because I always lose my keys. And um, we have a mail key. This is for work. And then this is a friend's house key. Um, but that's all that I really need. Oh, I do keep my key fob on here as well. Um, but I just took it out for demonstration for the last one. And so it does close based on the amount of cards you have in here. If you have a lot of cards in here and a big key fob, sometimes it does not close. Like, I don't think it would close right now. I personally just keep the key fob out. Um, if you watch my um, what's in my bags, you'll notice that it's always out. And that's just so I can easily grab it. I also just don't want to have to always open this in order to access the functions on my car personally. Um, I want it to keep its shape. I want to be able to throw cards in here. And really, I like it because it just keeps all of the loose keys in here. And so I prefer to have this out. Um, I, as I mentioned, this is my work pass, I guess you can say. And so the best part about this is that um, I can just scan my pouch and it works. So I don't have to worry about taking it out and I can always keep it in here, which is amazing. So that's something that I love about this. I also love that similar to the key pouch, if I just want to go run a quick errand, um, like I'm about to go pick up some medication for Mira, I don't need my purse. I just need my um, ID and you know debit card. I can throw that in here and then I can easily run out and run my errand. After those two, I got the Louis Vuitton Small Ring or PM Agenda. This was actually a present from my parents for um, getting into my doctoral program and slash birthday present. So I absolutely love it. I primarily just use this as an on-the-go slash travel planner now, and it always comes with me, and I love it. I just have like little monthly overview inserts in here. And then shortly after that, I was able to track down a Louis Vuitton large ring agenda. This is my main planner. I absolutely love this so much. It is extremely hard to track one down. I was on a wait list for months because I was initially trying to get it for my birthday and then Christmas rolled around and then I don't think I got it until earlier this year in like January or February, maybe even March. I don't know. It took a while to get one in um, a relationship with two essays in order to finally grab one. But I love this. This is my desk agenda. I keep it on my desk at all times. I use this as my main planner. It has everything that I need in here, um, including work inserts, weekly inserts, school inserts, and it's just amazing. And um, again, this was the one, like the main item that I've always wanted from Louis Vuitton and I was so happy that I was able to get it. Um, but 
yeah, we have that. And then after that, I believe, I honestly don't remember exactly when I purchased this. I know it was recently, but now the order may be switched, but it's fine. And we'll just go with after that. I ordered the GM cosmetic pouch. So I ultimately and initially ordered this as a camera bag. However, while it did fit the camera, it was kind of hard with a lens because there needs to be pretty much nothing up here for it to close properly. If you put too much, then it gets all like scrunched up up top. And I really, really loved it. And I didn't want to return it. And I figured it, it'd be nice to carry around some essentials and it'd be really nice to travel. I think I purchased it right before I traveled this year and I knew it would come in handy. Um, I do take this with me. So I do carry a lot of different essentials. Again, if you see my what's in my bags, I share a lot what I keep in here, but I just keep a lot of like things that I might need while I'm out. And I love this. I love that it didn't work out as a camera bag because it's been really useful, especially when traveling. And then the last SLG is my Chanel card holder. I am obsessed with this still. This isn't my current wallet and I don't think I'm going to switch out of it. So I really love the size and the one that I purchased. So mine's actually a little bit different. So mine has two compartments, so it's a little bit larger and I keep my main cards that I need in here, but I absolutely love it and using this as my main wallet. I know a lot of people are using like the card holders as bags now and adding a chain to it. Um, I'm personally not going to do that, but um, that is an option if you do want to have a very micro bag. Um, but yeah, I love this. I think it's so functional. I can keep everything that I need in here and um, I love using this as my wallet. I can also throw a lot back here, um, like a business card or even cash if I wanted to. But yeah, other than that, that is all of my SLGs and that is going to be it for this video. If y'all have any questions, please feel free to let me know and thank you guys so much for watching.